Good morning, Patriots. Welcome to Rexpines TV. My name is Melanie Ruiz. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for a school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Monday, August 29th, 2022. Now let's take a brain break. As you can see, Hadassah was trying to get the class to be quiet, but the second time she asked, she lost control. What she could have done was go to the teacher and ask her if she can have the class settled down. Why don't we try that again? I'm done. Yes. I'm also finished. Thank you. Did you hear about the GC? You are being you're being off topic. No one over today. Be quiet. I'm trying to finish my class. For real. I'm done. No, I'm okay. Thank you. Anyways, so literally, like when I went to the pool yesterday, it was so like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Green. <laughs> 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 yes. Be quiet. I don't know what you're talking about. Third. I don't know. Like, 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 this is the correct way to handle situations like this. Now let's learn a new word with word of the day. Hey, did you hear about what happened in Miss Smith class today? No, what happened? Jonathan was using his phone in class and Miss Smith confiscated it. Well, our school does have a phone policy, so she has to take it away. Yeah, I understand why she confiscated it. At least we know not to do the same mistake. Yep. See you tomorrow on Word of the Day. Wow, what a great new word. Now let's see what's happening today in history with Aiden. Thank you, Melanie. Patriots, in today's history, the popular streaming app Netflix was founded. Netflix was founded on August 29th, 1997. It was founded by Reed Hastings and Mark Randolph. This popular app has a large variety of series and movies, such as Victorious, Storybots, Home, Fuller House, and many more. Looks like I know what I'll be doing when I get home. Now I'll see what's for lunch with Santiago. Thank you, Aiden. Today's lunch is bean and cheese burrito, green beans, pineapple, and your choice of milk. Students, please keep in mind that your lunch can change at any time. Don't forget to let your teachers know if you're going to be receiving lunch today. Bon appetit. Now let's go back to Melanie. Thank you, Santiago. I can't wait for lunch. Scholars, testing started last week. Let's keep succeeding on these tests. Teachers, take a look at your schedule to see when it's your time to test. Today, third through fifth grade will be taking their Imagine Math benchmark. Good luck. Calling all super patriots. We have a new instructional software challenge. Your mission is to have 25 past lessons in reading and 25 past lessons in math. K through second, your challenge would be on iReady. 
Third through eighth, you'll be on Imagine Math. Patriots, don't forget our cell phone policies. Make sure you have your phone shut down and in your backpacks at all times. Now let's see what the weather is going to look like today with Jasmine. Thanks, Melanie. Hey, Patriots. Today's weather is looking like a high of 9 degrees with a low of 81. Make sure to be on the lookout for any rain. In other weather news, major celebrities are being fined for excessive water use. Some of these A-list celebrities include Sylvester Stallone, Kim and Kourtney Kardashian, and Kevin Hart, just to name a few. These celebrities all reside in California and are being fined by their district for using four times the amount of water that they're supposed to. The reason this is an issue is because California is going through a major drought, and these celebrities are certainly not helping. It's good they're being held accountable. Thanks, Jasmine. Hey, Patriots. Welcome to Hot, Hot Topic. Topic. I'm Destiny. And I'm Chanel. And here's what's trending this week. Will Smith is back on social media, but the reason is quite scary. As he announced that he was selling his house, he found an unwanted guest, a tarantula. So that's the biggest spider we've ever seen in our lives. Yeah, yeah. He could have the whole house. Serena Williams has finally decided to retire from tennis. She has won 23 Grand Slams and many more awards from 1999 to 2019. Her legacy will be forever held by the world of tennis. She'll always be remembered as a tennis legend. Today will be a good day to play outside and drink some lemonade. But why? Because it's National Lemon Juice Day. Lemon juice also adds taste to all kinds of foods, like salads. I've always liked the touch of flavor. Jordan is coming out with a new shoe. The Air Jordan 12 Stealth is set to come out tomorrow. The colorway is a nice gray with white. By the looks of those shoes, it'll cost you an arm and a leg. That's it for this week's Patriots. Now let's go to Sophia for the birthdays. Today's birthday boys and girls are Ariel Lewis, Samuel Merkel, Derek Wilson, Valeria Bello Suarez, and Nicholas Lamas. Happy birthday. Now let's go back to Melanie. Thank you, Sophia. Patriots, here are your packed expectations. It represents present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats to Ms. Pardinez, Ms. Manin, Ms. Newton, Ms. Stone, Ms. Cavalita, Ms. Rivera, and Ms. Jean Francois. You all had the correct answer to Friday's daily challenge, which was bus number eight. Now let's watch this video to see why. Now for today's Daily Challenge. Daily Challenge! What has many needles but doesn't sew? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance.gmail.com before 9 a.m. in order for your answer to be reviewed. Winners will be announced on the next morning announcements. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you a marvelous Monday. And remember, here at Pines, we are going to renew excellence in education. Have a good day!